Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafts. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm showing you how I make my tassel keychains. And they start with um, this bead. And I pick these up at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to have the, the big hole in them. And it comes in a pack of 10. Then I'm using the keychain rings, um, little lanyard hooks, and D rings. So these are the ones that I've already got done and as you can see they have a lot of little goodies in them and it has the bead there and they each have a charm. So this one is the creams and donuts and then I have one in this color purples, blues, oranges and that one has an owl charm on it. And then this one is burgundies and blacks and it has a leaf charm. And I wanted to do a frilly lacy one with whites and pinks and burgundies and this one has a pearl. So I'll show you how I make these. And I have a lot more, but I don't want to inundate you with all of them. So I will show you how I make them. And I start by cutting the lengths of the ribbons or the um, yarns that I'm using. And for this one, I'm going to go with whites and blues. And I'm going to be using an elephant charm to finish it off. And I had some leftover scrubby yarn and I like the colors so I'm going to be using that as well. Some mint green ribbon and this one also has little white dots on it as well. And I'm using a darning needle. And I'm going to start with my thickest piece first and as I go I'm going to be burnishing the, end it, the ends of the yarn or the, not the yarn, the ribbon. Just barely touching it with my lighter and you want to be careful that you don't set your things on fire. Then I'm going to thread it through the darning needle, grab my hook, I mean my bead, and then the D-ring and run that through like that. And I'm going to go back through and fix that if it needs to be fixed because you want it to lay flat. Adjust your ends to however you want them. I like them to be even. So there's the first piece. And then as I go and layer, I'm going to burn each of the ends as well. And just barely touching it. And I'm just going to go up one side and then through the hook, the D ring, and then down the other. And I'm going to continue that all the way through the whole thing, repeating the process of doing the burning and the ribbon ends. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show how I do the scrubby yarn as well. It is a little bit tricky to get in there, so you have to slowly, um, very slowly, because you have split ends on the scrubby yarn. There we go. And I leave a long piece on the end of the piece I'm working on only because you want to have that to grab to even out your ends. Like so. So you just hold it up and you can see the ends are uneven. So just grab that end that's not even and just pull. And your ribbons are going to pull down as well. 
but you can just slide your bead right back up and if any ribbons need fixing just give them a pull and I save one piece of ribbon or yarn to do the end of the um, things So I'm going to attempt to do three at once on this with the scrubby yarn. And I just think the scrubby yarn is more durable and it works really well. And if you're going to do the beads, run your needle across the top part on the inside so that you're not going through any of the ribbons that you have on there. Apparently I can't talk and do it at the same time. Okay, there we go. So I think that's enough um, of the scrubby yarn on this one. So I'm going to set these two aside, I think. I don't know. Do I want to add it? I'll add these two first. And then decide, because I'm going to end it with a scrubby uh, scrubby yarn so I think that might be enough but I want to see what it's gonna look like first and you can do it without the beads I just like the the added touch it gives. I mean, you can just tie it on here and do the little um, ribbon across the top here. Oh, no, I think I'm going to add them. I have them already cut, so I think I'm just going to add them. It will give more of like a jellyfish look, even though it's not an ocean themed one. But I can change it to one because I do have another bead. I mean, another charm that has blues on it. So I might change it to that. That way, the jellyfish look would be would look better. And I just went through it, so I'm just gonna pull that one out. I ruined it. See, I can't work and talk at the same time. I went right through it on my own. Okay. So I'll toss that one. Go over to my box here. See if I have any more of the white. <laughs> And I do not. But I have some of this blue that's the same type of ribbon. So I think I'll throw that in. That will add more for the um, dolphin as well. So I'll do this one first so I don't poke through that. I'm just going to up through make sure I get it through the right side because I don't want it twisted. Hold those tight. And then make sure I go through the top this time. There we go. Alright, that looks so much better. Save that piece. I'll add these two. And I've already burned these edges. Go up through. Oh, 
Okay, so there we are with that. And I will grab the last blue one. And up through, over, and there we are. So that's what it looks like. And the ends are quite long, so I'm just going to snip a little bit off. I'm okay with them hanging, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more even on the end. Now to close it off, I'm going to pull down a little bit on that and lay it over the ribbon. I mean, well, ribbon usually, but the yarn. And I'm just going to do a square knot. And this is going to help hold it in place. Then I'm going to take these ends and I'm just going to thread them through the bead. Making sure I don't go through any ribbon. Again. So that piece is in there and I'll do this one. Sometimes little ends catch with the scrubby yarn. And don't want to come off. Well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. And then thread that through. Okay, so it's going to look like that, and then push it up, adjust your ends. So that's how it looks right now, and I'm going to use Aileen's Fabric Fusion Permanent Adhesive on mine. And I'm going to start at the top and just push the nozzle right in there and give it a squeeze, and I'm going to do both sides. And then I'm going to go to the other end and find my center ribbon. And this is where that comes in handy, making sure it's even. And I'm just going to give it a good squeeze on the inside in between those into the bead. And then wiggle that a little bit. Then take the glue again and you're going to go all around tucking in the glue, not the nozzle, and just work your way around, tucking it in there. And then like before, just wiggle it a little bit. That will move the glue around. So there's that part. So that's what it looks like. So while the glue is drying, I'm going to attach this, and you want to attach this after, not before, because it will really get in your way. And then the snap goes through the keychain, well the lanyard hook, sorry, not snap. And it helps if you find this part of the, the um, key ring to do the snap through. And there's that and I'm gonna attach like I said I'm gonna change my mind and do the dolphin now I think I'm gonna stick with the elephant because it doesn't look too jellyfish to me now and this kind of looks better I think yeah I'm gonna go with the elephant so I picked this little box up at Walmart and I keep my jump rings in it. It's perfect for all the sizes that I need. And I'm gonna go with one of those. And I don't have a jump ring tool. I just use some pliers and they're just stainless steel ones. I don't know if I showed those. And I'm just gonna open this up 
just a little bit. I'm going to slide it through the elephant first. And then I'm going to attach it to the D ring. And then just close it back up. And you want to make sure that you get your connectors back really tight because you don't want your bead to fall off. Oops, sorry, I made the camera. And there you have it. And I really like how it, you can see the charm up against the wood. I don't know if you can, if I can get it to, there we go, focus on that. But there we have my tassel keychains. And they are great on duffel bags, on totes, on whatever you'd like to put it on. They work really well. So that's it. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching and have a great day.